Welcome to today's episode of Bible Truth for Busy People, your quick way to grow in your understanding of God and His Word. In this series, we're discussing Christian prayer. Why do Christians pray? What is prayer? What does it accomplish? What separates effective prayer from just talking to the sky? To whom are we praying? In this series of Bible Truth for Busy People, we will answer those questions and a whole lot more. So let's get started. Prayer for the born-again Christian is intimate communication with the creator and sustainer of the universe, the great I am, the eternal God. We are speaking with the one who is in control of all things. We have access to the most high God only because of the atoning work of the Lord Jesus Christ. When we repented and received the Lord Jesus as our savior from sin, we were made clean in God's eyes and were given the privilege of approaching him in prayer. Romans 5, 1 through 2 states, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into the grace in which we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. As a child of God, I've been given the privilege to talk to my Father about my needs. For you did not receive the bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption by what by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. We pray because we know that we have a God who can help us through the difficulties that we are facing. We pray because he's worthy of worship. We pray because he needs to hear our confession when we go astray. We pray because prayer is a way to draw near to our God and build a relationship with him based on the experiences that we've gone through together. Prayer doesn't need memorized words or high sounding these and thous. God desires that you come to him as you and use your words. It's not necessary to pretend to be something that you're not. Besides, you can't fool God. He knows when you're not being real with him. And yet he loves you completely and perfectly and always lives to make intercession for you. We can tell God when we're frustrated and angry. We can tell him when we don't understand why things happening the way they are. He desires honesty and realness. Psalm 51, 6 says, Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom. So, dear Christian, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it'll be opened. Or what man is there among you if his son asks for bread? Well, give him a stone. Or if he asks for a fish, we'll give him a serpent. If then you, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? That's it for today. See you next time on Bible Truth for Busy People.